Welcome to Grief Inspired. My name is Catherine McNulty and I bring light to the darkness of grief. Now today we're talking about letting grief go. And I want to help you with a tool that I found to be very helpful during my own grief process. Um, it's a tool that's used in another industry uh, that I've actually adapted to grief. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around. So today we're gonna to talk about a tool and a practice that's gonna help you let your grief out, let the pain out. There is so much that goes on inside your heart and your mind and your body as you grieve that it, there's an importance in letting some of that out. And I know many of you don't really have anybody to talk to your, to talk about your grief with, or maybe you see a therapist once a week, um, or maybe you comment on some of my videos, but maybe that's not enough. So I can't over underestimate the importance of letting your grief out. So this is a practical tool that you can use that's gonna help you let the pain out help you to heal, help you process what's going on. So this tool is adapted from a woman named Julia Cameron. It's called Morning Pages. You can also uh, search for her on YouTube and you'll see some, some videos around Morning Pages. Uh, but it's basically a tool that's used um, in the creative space. For, so for people who are in the creative arts, people who are writers, people who are um, feeling blocked by something and they need to let their creativity out. Uh, you can't be creative when you're all balled up in a ball of stress, when you're preoccupied by things. Um, you really need to be calm and centered in order to be creative. So that's where it started, but I've taken it. And I, what I found is that in using it during my grief, it was very helpful because it helped me process everything that was going on inside of my head. Uh, it helped make things seem lighter. It helped take away some of the lethargic way that I felt on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me tell you what it is and how to do it. So I did it this morning. These are my morning pages. You can see there's one, two, three pages that I did this morning and I got to a point where I felt like I needed to stop. What morning pages is, is taking writing, um, taking a paper and pen, and physically dumping everything that's going on in your head, unfiltered, um, without thinking about it. You're just literally writing every thought that comes into your head. And the time to do this is immediately when you wake up in the morning. So I have a notebook that's just a, an inexpensive spiral bound notebook I take um, and keep next to my bed with a pen. And immediately after waking up, you want to grab your pencil and paper and have it be the first thing that you do. And the reason why you do that is because there's this magical time between when you're sleeping and your subconscious is working and then when you're awake and you're fully conscious. So that's the period of time that you wanna do it. That's why it's called morning pages. And so then what you do is it's a physical dump about everything that comes into your head. So for me this morning, it was like, I'm not feeling great. My head hurts, my covers are warm, but the air is cool, I don't wanna get out of bed. That was how I started writing. What came in my head next? Anything that came into my head, I wrote down, completely unfiltered. Um, there is no capitalization, there are no periods. This is not journaling. Journaling is when you think about what you wanna write and then you write it down. This is a literal dump from your brain in the morning, which is why it's called morning pages. Um, and you let it out. And you let out, you know, for me this past week was the anniversary of my son's death. And it was the first time that I forgot that that's what the day was. And I remembered partway through the day when I went to schedule something on my calendar. And that was a weird experience for me. So I wrote about that. Um, and then, you know, my brother had a baby this week and I wrote about that because it made me a little sad. It made me happy for him, but sad for me. Um, and so whatever it is that's going on in your mind, you write down, you write down if you're feeling depressed, you write down if you're feeling angry or guilty or what that's about. 
And the beauty of it is in, is in noticing what comes up. At some point, you will start to focus on one topic. You will start to focus on one thing and it will take you down and you'll start to write a lot about that one topic until you get it all out. And when that happens, sometimes you will have a revelation. Sometimes you will notice something like, hey, I didn't realize I'm really angry, right? Maybe it's, wow, that was really depressive. Um, I'm really depressed. Um, I'm more depressed than I thought I was, or um, I'm feeling guilty. Uh, I'm really stressed out about something that's about to happen because I have to go and do something today. Or maybe you don't want to do anything today and you'd rather just stay in bed. Um, and so there might be anxiety about that. Or maybe you're feeling a lot of shoulds. I should do this. I should do that. I should do this. But I don't want to. Um, so whatever that is for you, let come out whatever is going to come out and let come up whatever is going to come up. And then when you get to the end, you will naturally just stop writing. And when you get to that point, think about what it was that you wrote and just take a minute and think on it. Um, maybe it'll send you to a video. Maybe it'll send you to say, mm, this is something really bigger than me. I need to talk to somebody about it. Maybe it'll, it'll encourage you to call a friend. Maybe it will encourage you to take some time specifically for you and make yourself first for once. Whatever comes up, listen to it and then use it. Because again, this is like my other video that was about trusting your instincts. This is your instinct. This is what's going on in your head. But there is magic in letting it out. There's magic in writing it down on paper and letting it all come out. Um, and I wanna encourage you to do it. Try it for at least a week before you make a judgment about it. Uh, and it should, when you're done, it should honestly help you feel lighter if you don't judge what you wrote, right? So if you're depressed and everything that you write in these pages is completely depressed, that's not an opportunity to judge yourself more. It's, it's an opportunity to look at it and say, wow, I am really sad. I'm really sad. How can I take care of myself today? If there's anger on your pages or fear on your pages, what does that tell you? You know, for me today, honestly, there's a lot of concern. I have concerns about helping the people that I support. I have concerns that what if I say the wrong thing? What if I do the wrong thing? What if my advice is not useful? We all have these thoughts. And so it's getting them out and realizing, right? I was, I was very concerned about people that I'm supporting and it was really preoccupying my mind. And I, and I realized at the end, I said, okay, well, this is a big deal. And if I spend more time worrying about what I might do wrong, then I'm not spending time worrying about what I could do right and how I could actually help them. And when you worry yourself, um, in this instance for me, I was making it about me and not about them um, and not about the people like you that I want to help. And so it's getting in, in, you know, getting out what's in your head um, and giving yourself an opportunity to refocus, giving yourself an opportunity to take action in a direction that's actually going to help you for the day. So it's, it's focusing on the present. Um, it's focusing on what is. And it's not something, it's not another tool so that you can judge yourself about it. And whether or not you're doing it right or wrong, it's not about that. It's about letting it out. It's letting out all of those thoughts that are in your head and getting them down on paper so that you can get on with whatever you need to do for that day and support yourself. It's 100% about supporting yourself. So every time you do morning pages, it's about supporting yourself and it's a tool and it's getting into action. And remember that every time you use morning pages, every time that you use one of the tools that I share uh, in this video, every time you watch a video, um, every time you work in my journal, every time that you um, spend time processing what's going on with you, you're moving forward. You're processing your, your, your pain. You're processing your grief. You're moving toward healing. So it's time to give up judgment 
and just move toward healing. So we're going to talk about that more in upcoming videos as well, because I think it's so, so very important. So for now, I want you to try morning pages, use it this week, drop comments below. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, like I said, I'm always here to support you in, in this grief process and you've got this, you can do this. So take care for now and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.